Now, the government has been called upon to inject more funds into institutions dealing with mental health, which has been cited as a major contributor to human rights violations in the country. The development comes as Kenya joined the world in receiving human rights for failure to tackle widespread abuses against civilians by state security forces, among others. As Kenya joined the globe to receive the 2023 report on human rights violations, many victims continue to suffer in silence. The latest victim was LGBTQ activist and fashion designer Edwin Kiprotich Alias Chiloba, whose body was found stuffed in a metallic box in Kapsaret, who was in Geshu County last week. Uh, for Chiloba's case, what is coming out, I don't think it is out of hostility. I think it was some differences with his partner. Uh, but I don't think we can deny the fact that, to some extent, uh, there's hostility towards LGBTQ and they probably require more protection. I think we have engaged the UNHCR on that issue. The report by Human Rights Watch further reveals that there were over 187 cases of police killings and disappearances recorded in 2022, with 32 cases being forced disappearances, a number slightly higher than recorded in 2021. Eritrea, also Rwanda, where it is so chilling to do human rights work that we cannot, despite all of the, the documentation we're able to do remotely because we do not have access. We have seen some encouraging comments from the, the current president, uh, but we haven't seen tangible steps or measures that the president has put in place to try and address these issues long term. But the question begs, what can be done to eradicate these numbers if Kenya is to be counted among countries globally that uphold the dignity of human life? The government is which come in under our windows, integrating the community. And the first thing is to stop the stigma about mental health. The government comes with funds. Hmm. Then through the counties, whereby each county can come about with its own way of talking to the community, like holding the chief barasa. The police should interact freely with the community, so that now we can stop all that. The yearly report has been released simultaneously across the globe. Ruth Wamboy for Prime Edition.